Hi guys. So just on our way to B&Q, we're going to have a look for some paint for Eleanor's bedroom. Maybe get some samples. What else do we need? Oh, looking at some wallpaper as well. We might buy some today because we're hoping to decorate this week or next week. You said this weekend, so it is this weekend. Mom. I know, but Nana's coming to do your um, <coughs> wallpaper, isn't she? Yeah. And she's not back from Portugal till Saturday, so she won't be able to do it till next week. Hi guys, so I thought I would just do a little quick video explaining a few things about Chris because we keep getting comments um, and I've seen, I see them on Twitter and things all the time basically saying, well if Chris has done something wrong he would have been arrested by now. So I'm just going to explain to those people, I'm sure most of you already understand this very clearly but there are a few people that don't seem to be able to grasp it, namely the IFAM that uh, just because Chris has not been arrested doesn't mean that he hasn't done something wrong. Let's look at the facts. Chris is 34, I believe. He's married. He's got three girls, another one on the way, as he always likes to point out about his poor pregnant wife. And several girls have come forward to say that he has messaged them inappropriately. We've seen evidence of these messages on uh, Twitter. The girls have bravely shared um, the messages because they realise what happened was not acceptable from Chris and they were they're quite scared about it but they did the right thing and they've come out and told, told adults about it hoping that something would be done and that it wouldn't happen to other girls in future hopefully. The thing is that these girls, the youngest one, is um, 16 years old and in this country, at the moment, as it, as it stands, it is not illegal for Chris to message 16 year old girls. It's immoral because he's married, he's cheating on his wife, um, cheating on his family and his kids, really. But it's not something that he could be arrested for. And this is where there's a bit of a loophole, really, because and why we're wanting we're doing the protest on the 16th of February to try and close this loophole. And the NSPCC are trying to do this, too, because if Chris had been a teacher, a social worker, uh, a vicar or somebody else in a position of trust with young people, he would have got done for this. But because he's a YouTube star, the rules don't apply to him for some reason. Even though he's, he is in that position of trust, these girls look up to him. You've only got to see the messages he gets on Instagram and the like. They absolutely worship him. They look up to him. And it's very worrying because Chris is obviously quite willing to take advantage of his situation, um, allegedly. And that's why it's very worrying. The other point is, people say, well, Stop in America... Down. <laughs> You're right. Right, really? I'm just thinking. I have to think of what to say. Um, in America, where it happened with Jess, she was 16 at the time. And as people have pointed out, it is illegal in America um, for him to message what they call a minor, somebody under 18. But the police have stated this. As they didn't meet in person, no crime was committed. And that's not because Chris didn't want to meet her, because he did. He tried to get her to go skinny dipping with her. But thank God Jess never met him. And she also didn't report it over in America. Otherwise, they, they would have looked into it, I'm sure. But anyway, just wanted to say that's why he hasn't been arrested. It doesn't mean he hasn't done anything wrong just because he hasn't been arrested. just means that so far he's managed to get away with it because the youngest of the girls that we know about is 16, although she, she did look very young for her age. I hope she didn't mind me saying that, but she did look 
she did look younger than 16 don't you think Eleanor anyway hope you've seen this new video that's come out by GD films because he talks about Chrissingham he's got quite a lot of subscribers and he's done a video before on Chrissingham and he's putting some really good points across I will leave the link below to that for you to go and have a look at it because it is it's entertaining and it's factual and it puts the message out there which we all want it to keep going until something happens and somebody takes it seriously also leave the link to um, the protest hope lots of you can make it it is going to be a peaceful process at protest of getting people saying oh why are you taking your daughter because there's going to be trouble there isn't going to be trouble because it's just a protest to put our view across get signatures hopefully get the press there and raise awareness <laughs> of what's going on the press yes the press <laughs> like the sun the guardian bbc news we sky, might be on TV. sky news you might be on tv who knows get signatures present them to youtube parliament whatever needs to be done to protect children so i hope lots of you can make it so I'm going to shut up blabbering on now. Thanks for watching. And we are going to do a smoke Sarah no, tomorrow. You know. Oh, right, yeah. We want, we're going to do a poll on Instagram. A lot of people said they want me to do, me and Eleanor, to do a skit. I think I'm going to do a parody on the photo shoot, the bump photo shoot. Mum's obviously going to talk, but because we're using a teddy, um, it fits my worst. Eleanor, <laughs> so let us know what you think about that idea, whether you think it would be sure good or not. Be. I'm just going to show you, Eleanor. Eleanor is quite keen to recreate the bump <laughs> pictures. <laughs> and you might think this is a little bit weird, but ever since uh, one of her teachers got pregnant about three years ago, Eleanor <laughs> likes to pretend by stuffing a teddy up a jumper that she's pregnant. No, but it's just I a think little game I'm to going her. to do the photos only because the teddy won't fit Mum's waist, so no. it won't look like a pregnant. What she's trying to say is I'm a bit too fat, but no, she's been polite. I'm younger than you and <laughs> my waist is smaller. I know, I'm only joking. So comment down below if you think that's a good idea, if well, it's something you want to see. Well, the dog is outside, Oh, yeah, I'll sat there. Right, I think tea's ready.